We are seeing a major shakeup in the Democratic presidential battle ahead of tomorrow's Super Tuesday vote. Former Mayor Pete Buttigieg dropped out yesterday after a narrow delegate win in Iowa and finishing second in New Hampshire. Buttigieg, as you know, was a long way behind in Nevada and South Carolina. Joe Biden's decisive win in South Carolina may have been a key factor in Buttigieg's decision to leave the race. The former vice president sees himself as the only candidate who can beat Bernie Sanders. Buttigieg suggested he ended his campaign to try to stop Sanders from running away with the delegate lead. As Dean Reynolds reports, his withdrawal was almost as unexpected as his campaign itself. I told Pete to run because I knew there were other kids sitting out there in this country who needed to believe in themselves, too. An emotional Chaston Buttigieg introduced his husband at a final rally in South Bend, Indiana, where the campaign started over 10 months ago. I am a proud son of South Bend, Indiana, and I am running for president of the United States. The 38-year-old former Navy officer and one of the youngest presidential candidates in modern history rose to the top of a crowded Democratic field with a moderate platform. Senator Sanders believes in an inflexible, ideological revolution that leaves out most Democrats, not to mention most Americans. Buttigieg won the most number of delegates in Iowa, but has been unable to build a broad coalition of support, particularly among black voters, something he addressed on CBS This Morning back in December. There's a lot of skepticism of, of the new person showing up, but I welcome that challenge because it's critically important not only to, to win, but to deserve to win. Nearly three months later, he got only 3% support from black voters in South Carolina, according to CBS News exit polls. Supporters were shocked by the news of his withdrawal, but say he'll be remembered for breaking barriers. He didn't win the presidency, but he's opened the door and um, hopefully inspired all of you uh, people to run for office. CBS News political contributor Joel Payne says this is just the beginning for Buttigieg. He is, if you just look generationally, the candidate best positioned over the next decade plus to be a big player within the Democratic Party. Now, Payne also told us that by withdrawing now, Buttigieg has probably pleased the Democratic Party establishment, which had been pressuring him and other hopefuls to get out of the race and let a single moderate candidate solidify support. Anthony? Dean, thank you.